So earlier I mentioned, right, that pressure can impact the solubility, right, and it does. It does impact solubility. Now, how is it impacting solubility? It's impacting solubility uh, with gases, okay? Now, for the most part, pressure is not going to impact solubility of solids or liquids for the most part, all right? There are some instances where that could play a role, but usually, right, it's not. Now, how is pressure impacting solubility? through gases, right? It's through gases. That's how it's impacting solubility. So gas solubility does depend on pressure. It's very, very dependent on pressure. So if we look at like soda cans, right? Pop, whatever you want to call it, right? We know that carbon dioxide is in soda. Okay? We understand that, right? Now that CO2 has been dissolved Okay, when it's under pressure, right, that CO2 has been dissolved. When it's in that can and it's sealed away, that CO2 that, of that gas has been dissolved in it, right? It's in there. Pressurized, right? Now, when you open the can, right, the partial pressure of this CO2, right, that was dissolved in the can in the solution, right, will come out of the solution, right? That's the reason why you ever, you know, get the can, you hear that, you, you hear that, right? That's that, that's that release, that's the release of the gas, okay? Now, and it, I want to look at this point before I go over here. Uh, pressure increases the rate of gas molecules entering the solvent. Okay, so as we increase our pressure, the rate of gas molecules, right, going in the solvent will increase with it. Gas molecules enter faster than exiting until at equilibrium, there go that word equilibrium, we'll cover that next unit in more detail, all right, but until equilibrium with more dissolved gas is reached. Once again, gas molecules enter faster than exiting until equilibrium with more dissolved gases reached, okay? So let's look at here. Right now we're in the equilibrium, right? And this is going back, right, to that, the little bit of, we understand vaporization and condensation. So as the rate, right, with equilibrium, the rate of things are going are the same, okay? So the rate of vaporization, the rate of condensation are the same right here. If we increase our pressure, if we increase our pressure, more of that CO2, right, as we saw over here with the can when it's being sealed off, more of the CO2 will be dissolved in this solution, right, that gas and liquid solution here. We just understand, right, pressure increases the rate of gas molecules entering the solvent, okay? So if we increase the pressure, we can put more gas into the liquid, okay? So that's the reason why it, you see these cans be so... Pressurize is this the reason why. It has to be under that certain amount of pressure for that gas to be in that solution. If it's not under that pressure, right, we got a flat soda. And nobody wants a flat soda. Okay.